Okay, Bobby, we've had a little bit of the cuisine. We've <laughs> learned a little bit about the history, and now I've brought you back in time, actually, to <laughs> Vermilionville, and Camille is going to show us what it was really like to live back in the day. Camille, thank you so much for having us. Thank y'all. We're very happy to have you here at Vermilionville. So, Vermilionville, by the way, original name of Lafayette, Louisiana, <laughs> is where we have historic homes as well as costumed historians who really show you what life was like in Southwest Louisiana between 1760 and 1890. Perfect, let's go explore. Come on, guys. Alrighty. Let's go back in time. <laughs> this Living History Museum and Cultural Center provides visitors with a glimpse into the diverse cultures and lifestyles of the Acadian, Native American, and Creole peoples who inhabited this region. So we're going to start off with this house right here. This house is what we call uh, La Maison de Couture of uh, Hunch Culture. Okay. And it was originally built circa 1845 for a family of 11 people. Whoa. The site helps preserve and promote the unique cultural heritage of the region with its historic homes, artisan workshops, and exhibits that showcase the traditional crafts, music, and cuisine of the area. So at the end of the 19th century, uh, in the United States, 3% of the U.S. population spoke a language other than English as their primary language. And for example, German was the second most common language in the U.S. Wow. 20% of the population speaking it. And then get to Louisiana, particularly Southwest Louisiana, this region that we now call Acadiana. And you have 65 to 85% of the population speaking either Louisiana Creole or Louisiana French. This is right around the time that you start to see um, the movement that we call Anglo-Americanization. You see, you have this sort of ideal of what a good American citizen looks like. And that's gonna be pretty much your waft, your white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. Look at Southwest Louisiana. Right. We're a little different. There was this effort nationwide to basically force assimilation. When you look at a culture, you look at it like a wheel with different spokes. Language is the hub of that wheel. You take away that center, everything else is gonna fall out. You might have some things that stick, but you are going to lose things. Well, that was a lot of fun. Wasn't it cool? Well, we've had a little history. Mm -hmm. We've learned a little bit mm -hmm. about this area. Now, are you ready for a little friendly competition? Will you lose again? <laughs> yeah, I'm oh, ready. We shall see, Robert. We <laughs> shall see.